So right now we are a few hours away from the seventh ending program released, and you know it's it's got some cool big names at the top: Harper, Frank Thomas, and Walter Johnson. So let me know who you all plan to take. Now before we get started on this video, I must throw out there a few hours. Uh, probably what, about 12-ish, 13, I don't know. Earlier in the day, I got my wisdom teeth out. You love to see it. So, if I sound a little funny in this video, that's why. I don't think I do, but, you know, just gonna throw that out there. Now, I love reading your comments. Trust me, I, everybody says it, but I get lonely throughout the day, and I need something to do. You know, I hate talking to people. I'd rather be on my phone. You know, like people in real life, obviously, I'd love, you know, talking to you all over the internet, where I can only embarrass myself and then run away. Anywho, I saw a comment about collections. Now, I've gotten a few of these before, going over, you know, asking me to go over collections or what my recommendations are. So we're going to go ahead and do that today. Um, we're going to talk about collections and a little bit of what I do in the marketplace. Now, when I look at collections, there's two... There's two sex there's two like categories or types. First one you have is your live series. The second one is your legends and flashbacks um or the trout collection. Everything else isn't really that necessary, that kinda with everything else. We'll go over the live series first. So how to um do these collections. So we'll go to the reds. So right now, it's kind of tough auto-select. It's kind of tough right now going through um, the live series because new players are coming in. I actually had the reds finished. I had 40 out of 40. I didn't collect it, and a new guy came on their roster. <clears throat> now, how do you finish a collection? So if we go out and we click the reds, so you see I have 39 of 40 of these cards. I go and I can either go click through all of them or I can click auto select. Now once I claim these cards, these cards will remain on my team but they will become no sell cards. You can still use them for exchanges as far as I know. Um, exchanges and actual gameplay but you can't sell them back on the market. Now we're going to finish up the reds card real quick so let's go take a look at Christian Clone. So what I do is I click view marketplace. Now, if you click, um, so we want to buy this card, we don't have any. <clears throat> Sorry. If you go ahead and click this button, you click buy, you're obviously buying. So um, whichever side you're on the start is what you're doing. So we want to buy Christian Clone, we don't have any. If we click buy now at 273, we will buy him for 273 stubs because somebody put in a buy or a sell order for that. It's a little confusing. But, you know, that's not the point. We're not here to talk about everything. Now, would, I, would you rather pay 273 stubs or wait a little bit and pay 26 stubs? Let's be honest. You want to you wanna pay 26 stubs. So what you do is you click um, the buy. You go down to create buy order. And you click, twenty. you type in 26. So for uh, buy orders, you always go, I'm trying to line this up for you. You always want to go one above. You see how in the left column for buy, or for the, the orders over here, it it's going down in price. This side is going up in price. You're actually buying. You ready? I type in 26. There you go. So I'm on top. So when somebody clicks like sell now automatically, if we go back to here, um, you know, like when you rip a card and get like a sell now, that's what you'll do. Oh, I'm really bad at this, but that's all right. So we'll wait for that to go through. But like I said, always try to go through the smaller ones. And if you guys need me to explain how to actually do this a little better, I'll try my best. All right. So also, in addition to these collections, you'll see on the left side here, you collect so many cards, you get some nice rewards. So right now, we could get 22 cards, so we would get these, the first two. And it's not a lot of stubs, 400 stubs so far. You'll make a little bit back on your stubbage, not a big deal. You're looking more for the XP. Let me show you. Right there, 
bang, bumped me up probably like three, three of the silver letters. And, you know, we got rolling a little bit. It gets a little better. Now, when you cl complete a collection, so if you complete the Phillies collection, you'll get uh, 86 overall pitcher Robin Williams. Now, Robin, you know, these cards aren't that good now since we're so late in the year. So, you collect, uh, once you finish the collection, you get that main reward. Now, this gets a little, it's not too more too much more complicated. So we were looking at the NL East. So we would have had Robin Roberts. Once you complete all AL or NL East teams and get all of their collections filled, you'll be able to put all of your cards in here. You see Christian Cologne up there um, at the top going off real quick instead of you know we saved about 200 stubs. It's really good. Once you complete all f all five NL East teams, you go in and put in their reward cards here as shown and you'll get 92 Mike Schmidt now building upon that once you get all of the divisions done you'll see we have American and National League you'll be able to do you get the three NL divisions you put these three together you'll get 99 Gary Sheffield 10,000 subs and 12,500 XP it's a lot of XP plus a good card um, American League, as shown, you look at Craig Biggio, same amount of stubbage, and once you complete both Craig Biggio and Gary Sheffield, you'll be able to get Mickey Mantle. Free agents is kind of one you don't really work for too much. You just kind of pay attention and click through, and you'll get a good amount of XP from those. So that's the live series collections. Now going over to the Legends and Flashbacks, otherwise known as Mike Trout. Now, I'm sure you've seen this new Mike Trout. It's insane. Go ahead and click here. Mike Trout. Dear Lord, that's a lot of XP and a lot of stubs. Oh, yeah, that's also what, like the best card in the game? Nah, no big deal. How'd you get this Mike Trout? Well, you need 15 of these, of all of these things, to get him. So you have a prospect. I think this is the prospect's nameplate. I think you get this from completing all of the live series, which we just talked about. Uh, Wander Franco is you complete all it's like 24 of the prospects you'll see we'll go through now how do you actually get some of these vouchers well you go over to these so we were talking about future stars so the future stars that was the retro nameplate you need 30 of these cards to get that nameplate now personally I'm not very close so can't do much there uh, we go back Let's see, let's look at breakout players, all right? We go down to breakouts. We need 20 of these guys, auto-select 12. So we're not that close. We're ha we're about halfway there. And of course, as you move through, you're getting a lot of XP. That's how you really get up there in XP, is going through all your collections. Let's go ahead and look at Al Lighter in the marketplace. You can't get him. It's because we just talked about him. Al Leiter, if you go here, is from the Marlins Live Series Collection. You complete the Marlins Live Series Collection, you'll be able to get this Al Leiter. I think the same thing with this Jack Morris. He was the Tigers. Jonathan Scope, one of the henchmen. You can actually buy him. He's looking a little pricey, but we'll go ahead and look at him in the market. Now, again, like we're saying, that's a big gap right there. Um, I'd much rather pay 7400 than 11400 Save me about 4000 stubs. So what I would do is I would click Buy and Sell Options. I'd go to the Buy side. And instead of clicking Buy Now, I'm going to make a Buy Order. And I type in 7402. And it would pop up right over here. But that's a little high for what I value that card as. Um, so. I'm going to take a pass on him for now. Alright, moving through. I talked about this in another video, uh, but if you didn't see that, I forget which one it was. I think it might have been the Babe Ruth. Go ahead, do your monthly rewards, because you'll get, and if you get all of the, the monthly rewards, you get your top ones. Collect them. You get Elite Ducks on a Pond Pack. That's the... That's the really good one. It's got the Chapman in it, and I always forget. Just a thing, just a thing to look out for. All right, so you guys kind of get the uh, gist of it, but we'll go over to cover. 
Now it's not too late, but make sure when you're going through, you want to, uh, when you're going through, your, you'll get these guys from your XP reward path. Make sure you get all three of them. There's no reason why not to. We go ahead and auto select these guys, click advance, and we have our cover series collection voucher for Mike Trout, plus a little XP and stubs on top. And we can go over and do that. And we're one out of 15 of the way. Now, another thing when collecting some of these collections, let's see. What's a good one to do? Awards. Now, going through, let's say I'm pretty close to being done. Let's say I need like three more, all right? Let's go. Um, let's say I need like one or two more. When you're at the end of your, you know, your things, make sure you always do your no cells first. You know, just that's easy rule of thumb. Do your no cells and collect them because you can't sell them anyway. So there's no point not to collect them. So I go ahead and do it here. I could go ahead and collect these other guys. I'm going to be keeping them on my squad. But for now, something may change. Uh, we're not really getting anything out of collecting these guys other than this minor reward here. So we'll go ahead and pass. Tops now is that part of the trout collection set. Da, 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 da. I think it is tops now. All right, let's go ahead and look at that. You need 15 of these guys. Auto select five out of five. But building on it, you, we don't even have enough guys in there just yet. But something to build. And again, tons and tons of XP. You love to see it. The stubs are always nice, but you know. Now with this Mike Trout, it's definitely difficult to do. Um, and like, you know, like we were talking about earlier, I was lacking on the future stars, this nameplate here. Mike Trout, there luckily you, I think it's like 19, let me count, 4, 8, 12, 16, 18. So you don't have to collect all of them, you just have three to spare. So those are some things to pay attention to. I hope I explained this pretty well. Uh, I know it's kind of a, a weird video, it's not one of my best. Um, and going through here are some of the other ones like collect five, collect five equipment for that. I'm not worried about that. Pitchers, ooh, let's see. Nah, I don't care. I do that some other day. Um, the monthly flashbacks is uh, kind of what we. This is the tops now sort of thing. You can get a few stuff from there. Um, this six ending stuff this kind of helps you keep intact. Like, if you get seven prime players, you get 20 program stars for the six inning program. So if you're kind of lacking there, you could do that because you do that prime series. You'll also be able to go over to prime over here and be able to put those in. Make sure you go through and pay attention to some of these because, um, you know, you might be able to get some stubs here like the Prime Series. I'm sure you have one Prime Series guy. You can get a ball in as a habit pet. I don't know. You might buy some. You might pull like a Mike Trout. Signature. Ball in as a habit. Edwin and Carcion. No sell. Just go ahead and throw them in there. Um, awards. Ball in as a habit. Brandon Phillips. Uh, Raleigh Fingers. Felix Hernandez. You get what I'm saying. Corey Kluber. Everybody's Kluber. Postseason. Nothing great. Veteran, also nothing spectacular. Same with All-Star. Breakout, I assume Rookie would be the same, and it is. But you get the gist. Make sure you're doing these. Um, 15, a ball is a habit. Phone call, whatever, you can probably just sell it. That's pretty much going to be the end of the video. Like I said, hopefully this helps. And uh, if you like this, you know, you got any suggestions, so if you want me to go over, by all means, let me know. Let me know in the comment section who is the third ending boss you're looking for, uh, you're looking towards getting. Personally, I'm a little disappointed in Bryce Harper's card. I hit really well with him. Frank Thomas's card has the reverse splits. He are he has a normal splits. He is really good against lefties. Not something I'm necessarily looking for, but I do like his gold card. Walter Johnson might be good, might not be good. It's kind of risky with some of those old time pitchers. You know, if they're not Bob Feller, you might have some issues. But let me know what you guys are thinking and um, 
day. I just, you know, hope you take care. Let's, uh, do we have any packs real quick at the end of the video? Uh, we don't. Well, that'll, uh, finish it up for us. Um, with that being said, take care.